okay first of all you will be opening your drawing and uh, in the drawing first by pressing t button you will be going to the top view now wherever you have to set the camera you have to check that location let's say i am using the camera in this lobby so uh, let's go to this camera command from the standard you have to shift to the v-ray because i am using v-ray 6 for the rendering now click on the v-ray physical camera and now i am setting some frames to the camera like at what point they should click the photo now press escape and uh, it will show you these arrows for the adjustment of the camera now once you are looking something like this with the arrows on the camera you can go to this z position and you can give some height to the camera let's say i am giving the height to the camera 4 feet press enter now by pressing c you can see what is coming into the frame and normally by pressing shift plus f you can go to the save frame the shortcut for it is shift plus f now by pressing f3 you can turn on or turn off the wireframe or the 3d actual realistic view now i am clicking on to this camera then camera target now using these arrow keys i will be setting the camera wherever i want this now the things are not properly visible into this camera so i need to change the uh, field of view of the camera now let's go to the camera setting first of all you need to select the camera now into this modifier just go to the settings into this setting i am just changing these film gate and focal length doing some of the settings you can see by increasing it is coming more closer let's say this is 30 and i am increasing this to 40 <coughs> now let's say 35 no it is not 50 now uh, yeah it's better now again clicking on to this point and clicking on the camera target you can adjust little bit height of this see you can see the deviation in the lines like the lines are vertical of this whatever the things are in vertical they are very much tilted so for the animation one thing is very important to set click on this select camera go to camera settings over there into tilt and shift this should be selected now you can see it is straight lines coming out of that command of editing camera settings now the next thing is uh, we have to give some animation to this like we need uh, the camera to move from point a to point b go to the top view by pressing T button now coming into the fire frame wireframe now going to this modifier splines I will be selecting anything let's say arc from this point to let's say this point I want the camera to move now this line is actually built at zero level so I need to give some elevation to this line, let's say 4 feet, right? Now I want this camera to move on this curved line. What is the next thing for this one? Select camera, go to animation, constraints, path constraints. Now you need to select this line. Now this camera will be shifted towards the line. Coming out of the command, now select C for selecting the camera. Now you can see this camera is set on to the line. Now if you will move this bar in the forward direction, it will tell you how the camera is moving. Depends on what height view you have set for the camera. Right? So you can click on this play button also for an automatic movement of this camera. It will show you a demo this is how your view will be there in the animation you now going back to this one now you need to click on this time configuration setting and into this click on let's i am using this film custom and frame rate is 30 frames per second fps so you it's up to you what frame you want 
to be running in one second okay and here you can select the speed of uh, the animation and here you can give the total duration of the animation like whatever the number of frames you are giving it will get divided by frame per second and you can get the length of the video like 3 second 10 second 1 minute that depends upon your system speed okay now let's say i will rescale the time start time 0 end time is 60 okay now click on okay now these all counting is now from 0 to 60 you can again play and check right so this is what you have set the animation in this software now the next step is go to the render setup this will open this is very simple way of getting the render animation render uh, there are many other ways which I will be teaching you in the next tutorials but here this is one of the way in this common tab first of all select your uh, renderer like you want to be uh, you want that uh, CPU to be the main uh, source of render like your processor or GPU your graphic processing unit whatever the thing you want you can use it or you can do the combination also I will be making another video for this one so right now I am using this CPU for doing the rendering now by default this thing is set it over this point now you have to select this active time segment okay whatever the frames you have given now going downwards you can select any of the resolution like full hd 720p or whatever the other resolutions are available now going downwards make sure you have clicked on to this save file okay and you have to give some destination to this one like I have given into any folder you can create a new folder and you can give the destination and this is how you will be giving the name to that file one underscore then it will make a series of it and this type should be jpg file okay click on save now other settings in this one which I am going to make a new video for that uh, v -ray, the all thing keep all things normal image sampler simple bucket and noise threshold you can give that depend upon your system like lesser than is noise threshold more time it will be taken let's say if I am using 0 0.001 it will be taking so much time so if I am using this it will be taking less time so that depend upon your system now going to the G8 tab brute force i am using because uh, that uh, light mix will be working into this one light cache will be my scanner engine no other changes i am going to make no other changing in the same less the sequence you can select any of it i am using this one and in the render element by clicking on add i am using v-ray denoiser uh, only okay not this one only we did denoiser right so this is over here and into this one make sure this is nvidia right so once these settings are over you will be clicking on render so it will be asking you overwriting so once this thing is there so once you will start the render let's say i am creating a new folder save file desktop let's say a new folder test render to this save this file save now you will be clicking on this one render now it will start rendering your frames right so you can see 160 so it will be taking so much time so I'm going to cancel this one and directly I will be showing you the real render and once all the frames are saved okay you will be going to the rendering tab then compare media in RAM player in channel A there are two channels we are working on the A channel so opening 
the folder wherever let's say i have saved this uh, these frames in this one in project one in camera now here all the frames are there so i will be selecting the very first one it will automatically picking up the the rest all the uh, frames which are numbered in series okay so i will be clicking okay now it will be asking some of the information leave it as it is now it is counting this all let's say all the frames are counted whatever i have rendered earlier so number of frames are depending on how many frames you have rendered it is not fixed that 72 now you can see this is the frame rate at what frame rate you want to save the video let's say i want to save it at 30 so if you are playing this one so you can see how the video is playing now if i am reducing the frame let's say 15 it will be working like this see if i am increasing the frame rates let's say 60 so the video will be faster but smoother also just see so it depends upon how many frames you are actually rendering it all depends upon your time the machine speed its capacity okay now you this is at what 30 frames per second 30 fps is the speed set so i have uh, rendered it at this video you can see the quality right now once uh, you have checked this thing click on save okay give any name to it let's say final render animation one in the format click on avi audio video image file okay so avi file is the format but just after pressing the save button make sure your this one is selected it is uh, rend rendering it is actually compiling the files in a better way so click on this make this quality to be the best 100 click ok so it will be saving you can see more uh, bigger the resolution is there more clarity and detailing will be there in your any